Welcome to Flask and Purpose, the show where we scour the internet to find the most interesting military stories we can and share them with you and each other. What's that story today? Today we are jumping into the suicide slash murder of Colonel James Sabo, Marine Corps Colonel. So a nice lighthearted story. Sorry. Jumping in real deep <laughs> in the deep end of the pool here. Um, first, I think I'd like to explain to you just who he was as a service member. Um, then we'll kind of go over his death from the perspective of the Marine Corps and his family. And this is like a very controversial story, right? It involves some pretty high up people. Extremely controversial. Colonel James Sabo served in the Marine Corps for almost 30 years as a fighter pilot. Lifer. He, yeah, hardcore lifer. Did over 221 combat missions in Vietnam. Um, and he was third in command at El Toro Marine Corps Air Base, California. A base that actually no longer exists. Uh, it's been shut down. I, I don't know for how long. So if you actually served there, um, and maybe even served under the command of any of the men that we're talking about today, it'd be really cool if you sent us a DM, left a comment, and kind of gave us a chance to talk to you about this, because there doesn't seem to be too much of, on James Sabo out there and those who served with him. Maybe it's because they're scared to talk. Now, I do want to know, El Toro was famous in the 80s during the Contra scandal for being one of the many runways where we would ship drugs and weapons and money to the uh, Contras in exchange for their guerrilla warfare. So here's the story surrounding uh, Colonel Sabo's death. Allegedly, in 1991, he got wind that there was some illicit activity going on on El Toro Air Base. Shipments of drugs from South America were being funneled through the base as part of a weapons for drugs program that the federal government outlawed in 1985. Essentially, he was accusing other senior Marine Corps leaders of smuggling drugs for money and illegal weapons across the border and using El Toro as a jump spot to aid the Contra rebels. So the allegation is that even though the Contra scandal is supposed to be over, it was still happening to fund CIA operations and maybe make some people rich. For anyone who's not familiar with the Iran Contra, what's like a like a one sentence on that? So we were essentially uh, giving them weapons in exchange for drugs, which we would then sell for money for dark money. So you could have untraceable amounts. So launder uh, it, kind of laundering. There's actually a famous movie with Tom Cruise. Um, oh, I saw that one. Yeah. Where, yeah. So this isn't this is not conspiracy. This, no, this is, is real. This this is verified to be true. Right. That part of it. And that the, part of the story. Basically, Colonel Sabo uh, allegedly uncovered that the Contra deal was still going on in 1991, even though it was supposed to be over, and we were smuggling weapons and drugs. So he's a narc. <laughs> Daddy was a narc. So he, Colonel James Sabo was he a was narc. He was a snitch. He was, and he made it incredibly open. You know what happens to snitches? They get suicided. <laughs> so what ends up happening next? When... Well, so he was incredibly open about the fact that he uncovered this. And at the time, he was facing some criminal charges by the Marine Corps. He, Colonel Sabo was. Colonel Sabo was. Were these trumped up, or is this like he did something wrong? Well, the accusation from those who believe that he was murdered say yeah. that they were trumped up charges. Colonel Sabo and his neighbor, Joe Underwood, both being charged with the same uh, crime of misusing government property. What they were being accused of was using government planes to fly their family around, to fly like personal items around for moving and stuff like that. Definitely considered a, a career threatening charge for a colonel, um, but you're not gonna get like a dishonorable for that, right? So it sounds like he stuck his nose where it didn't belong and they tried to shut the door on it. Yes, exactly. So during this time though, he basically said he was gonna take the court martial. So he had two options. He could either essentially be kicked out of the Marine Corps with less than honorable, like resigning almost, but he said he wanted to go to court martial and at court martial, he was gonna blow the whole thing open. Yeah. He was gonna tell everybody everything. And it was only a matter of time before he was gonna go to this, this hearing and blow it all wide open. So when he showed up, what happened? Well, this is where it gets kind of like juicy. Allegedly, his neighbor, Colonel Underwood, said to him in front of his wife, you'll never make it to court martial. It'll never happen. Was he saying that as like a friendly warning? Like, or was he, the neighbor was in on it? Colonel Underwood is one of the men that Sabo was accusing of being part of this. Oh, okay, okay. so he was like his neighbor saying, hey, basically dropping a hint, like if you try to go to court martial, you're not gonna, you're gonna be dead before you do that. That is what it seems to be. So it's important to know at this point that Operation Desert Storm had just kicked off, but in spite of, in spite of that, 
Marine Corps Inspector General Hollis Davison flew nonstop to El Toro to investigate firsthand. This allegation that they were misusing government planes. Who did this? This was Marine Corps Inspector General Hollis Davison. So you're saying this is like a really high up person investigating right. something that seemingly is not there. And it's not, not big that deal. big of a deal. What, yeah. it's, it's What's like, he doing flying back? Yeah, it's yeah. like, it's, it'd be like E5 Capilouto got caught using the Humvee to go buy Domino's off base. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that. That's inappropriate. You're going to get in trouble. You might lose a rank. Yeah. But is the inspector of the army going to come to personally <laughs> oversee that? Yeah. You'd be like, what are you doing here? There's other people that could do this. <laughs> so to continue it, the Marine Corps even sent four other high-ranking officers from Pendleton who were part of counterintelligence to aid in this investigation. Starting to see what's happening here. So I think maybe Daddy Sabo uncovered a big old can of worms. Yeah. All right, now here's how it goes of the day that Colonel Sabo allegedly killed himself. At 7.30 a.m., his daughter, who was a sophomore in high school at the time, she left for the day, and she remembers him being in like great spirits, great mood, mm -hmm. super happy. Um, his wife, Sally, on her way out, he was watching um, the news still, CNN, sitting on the couch in his pajamas, being a classic colonel on, yeah. a, on a day off. Um, now, she remembers him answering the phone as she was leaving, saying, this is Colonel Sabo, and no one was talking back. And this was at allegedly 8.30 in the morning that this was happening. Mm -hmm. So to recap real quick, daughter leaves for school early at 7.30. She says, dad seems great. Wife leaves in the morning to go to work, watches him take a weird phone call where no one's talking back to him. He keeps saying, this is Colonel Sabo, over and over again, as if he's waiting for someone else to talk. An hour later, she comes home. The TV is still on mute. His glasses are set down and he's in the backyard, dead, laying over a shotgun. But she's also a nurse and she noticed that blood splatter seemed completely weird. She said there was a pear-sized bulge just above the base of her husband's skull. A small pool of blood had poured from his right ear onto the lawn, but otherwise, other than that, the scene was completely clean, completely sterile. Um, she says that other than that one small puddle of blood, there was no big shotgun splatter of gore be anywhere. It was just this one little bit of blood. And so she feels that these other colonels beat him, shot him to make it look like suicide and then cleaned the scene. Or brought him like there. Maybe right. shot him somewhere else, brought him yeah, to the location. Right, exactly. And then she went over to her neighbor's house, Joe Underwood, and then she apparently said to him, this has gone too far. So she already, in her mind, had made the decision that he was murdered right. by these colonels. If I thought, genuinely thought that my neighbor like murdered my spouse, I don't know if the first place I would go would be there. I mean, there, there's a lot of weirdness going on with yeah. this story. He now can't testify at that hearing that was supposed to blow up this big cover up about generals making all this money off of selling arms and drugs. Yes, that's the allegation that, that it was homicide and not suicide. Right. Is that these guys want him taken out. So there are actually allegedly two different versions of the autopsy and doctored photos. So the allegation is that his body also was covered in bruises. He had injuries before the shot as if someone had beaten him with a club. So it, he had contusions on his head, he had bruises on his ribs, broken bones, etc. And according to the Marine Corps, the initial autopsy, all of that was covered up. Bruises were removed. They didn't show any of the contusions. Flying that How did they doctor it? Like visually doctored visually. it? Like kind of Photoshop type thing? Yeah, that's the allegation. And apparently that's fully verified. It just hasn't- this So some parts of this story are kind of verified. Yeah. Some parts. Have they proved that the generals were doing what Sabo accused them of doing? So they never investigated it. Oh, they didn't investigate it. It died with Sabo, the entire thing. And then the base has been shut down since, so the base is gone. Colonel Underwood was, that same year, kicked out of the Marine Corps. He was completely banned from the base, couldn't come on because of his alleged, like, misconduct, whatever. Um, not connected with Sabo's death. Different misconduct. Different misconduct. <laughs> but then he became an incredibly successful businessman in Texas, had a ton of money. So this is like the story of the shitbag generals. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you something. It seems like the shitbag generals get a lot more done than the shitbag E3s who are trying to like make meth in the barracks in the city. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right, like they yeah. get caught real fast. These guys have like CIA buddies on their side. Sabo's brother, who has since passed, 
who uh, really fought since 1991 to tell the truth of his brother, what he believes to be the truth, that his brother is completely innocent, uncovered this ring, so they were gonna give him these bad charges just to get rid of him, and that they killed him to keep this ring protected, this drug smuggling ring that was funneling supposedly dark, dirty money to the CIA for black ops. So he feels that his brother was murdered that day, that the autopsy was altered by the Department of Defense, and that the entire thing was completely covered up and swept under the rug. And he claims he's, he was harassed for most of his life for pursuing it. There's also stories of journalists who've had their houses burned down while pursuing it, harassed, credit cards stolen, et cetera. So it's this big conspiracy theory that there's still people within the CIA in powerful places who want this covered up. I just want everyone to know that I am completely happy in my life, and if I disappear, it's because of this. Here's my theory. Yeah. I think Sabo was a little bit of a dirty boy, had his hands in the, the, the honey jar, so to speak, right? I think that basically one of their bosses, who was part of this ring, was like, someone's got to take a fall for something because we have to explain all this flight movement, right? So they're like, Sabo, Underwood, you two are taking a fall, but don't worry, you're going to be taken care of, right? But Sabo's a proud guy. He's like, I'm not going out of the Marine Corps with less than honorable. I served for 30 years. I crushed it in Vietnam. Yeah. I, you know, got some extra money from this Contra deal, ran Contra scandal. That's cool. But everyone's doing that. Yeah, he was one of those, like, I worked my ass off. I deserve this money. You know, kind of like some of the disabled veterans out there. Yeah. We're like, I worked really hard. I deserve 100% disability. You know, you're basically Colonel Sabo. <laughs> then, when they said you're taking this fall, I think he was like, you, I'm not taking the fall. And they're like, you got to take the hit, man. He's like, oh, if I'm taking the hit, you're all taking the hit. And I think he got- Not only that, he wanted probably to look like squeaky clean afterwards. Because if he dropped the dime on them, then he looks- Like a hero. Yeah. I think he wanted to look squeaky clean. I think he was involved in it. I think it's why they killed him so quickly. He must have been involved in it because like, that's how he probably knew about it. I, and, and put yourself in the shoes of the criminal masterminds of this drug ring working with the CIA. If you have an innocent war hero like Colonel Sabo, who stumbles upon it, you're not just gonna immediately beat the shit out of him and execute him. You're gonna try to figure out how to handle that the right way. How do we right? quiet this guy? But he's part of it, so they feel comfortable just beating the shit out of him and murdering him. Right. I think Colonel Sabo was murdered. I'm not gonna say by whom because it's, it I would also explain why they didn't investigate it further, because they probably did an investigation, saw that he was in on it saw everything and they were like let's just bury this quietly yeah and it just <laughs> went to bed yeah the thing is though we could all be completely off and he could have just killed himself or there's a ghost arm of our government that has no problem just killing people and there is a lot more on this like if you guys do want to learn more about the colonel sabo and the story around it i can go really in depth i'll do a ton of research and i will present it and have some people on to talk about it more there's marines around it who have died Allegedly, a whole plane was taken down in Nova Scotia that killed over 200 service members in the uh, 101st. See, what did they know? It wasn't about what they knew, it was about what had to get rid of. Like, apparently that plane was like a dirty plane. <laughs> so, that's what I'm saying. This, this is scratching the surface. Dude, this conspiracy theory gets so big, man. It's like, it's almost like 9-11 was done to cover up it's, the Colonel. Yeah, it starts to yeah. just, everything, everything connects back to the Lusitania. Say, what's your verdict? Do you think he was, oh. From wait, the wait. evidence presented, I, I like what you were saying about it. it. It sounds like maybe he was involved. I think he decided to uh, get shot by his friends. The story of the shitbag generals. Colonels. Um, colonels. Some of them became generals. <laughs> Officers. Isn't it great to know that during our time we served under generals who were part of this? It's great to know that I didn't, I wasn't aware of it. So I could blindly go through Ignorance is Yes, that's, 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 the, that's the phrase. So we want to know what you think though. Please comment below. Tell us if Colonel Sabo killed himself or if he was suicided, so to speak. If he was Epstein. Can we say that? Anyone who comments what happened, I'm going to pick people and I'll send you a task and purpose sticker for watching and being so sweet. Okay, I don't even know if we should be doing this episode. To be honest. <laughs> Let's like, wrap it there. I don't know if we anyway, should. Anyway, turned out no one did anything wrong. There this was no conspiracies. I just want to enjoy this task and purpose coffee. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm sleep so, soundly tonight. <laughs> I'm so sad that Colonel Sabo definitely killed himself because- Totally 100% killed himself. He was so ashamed of his crimes of misusing government planes. Yep. For electronics and moving his family, he killed himself. Cheers. There's no way that the other generals that were making tons of money off of continuing this uh, gun gr drug trade killed him. They didn't. Story wrapped. Yep. So the anyway. end. <laughs> the end.